Hello. Hello. I've just been uh, given a request to film a solar panel setup. So uh, I thought I'd do a quick video whilst I can. I'm just out actually camping at the moment. So perfect opportunity. This is the, uh, the trailer that we use for camping. It's a fairly small one, but it does the job quite adequately. We've got the front pole which we use for the TV aerial. We've got the two battery packs built at the front, 210 amp batteries uh, connected in parallel to give us the 12 volt that we need for the rest of the gubbins inside. In the front, we've got two 40 volt outlets. I've got a TV aerial in and TV aerial out as well. That's for the TV aerial booster in four different areas. And then this is the panel. It's a 100 watt 12 volt panel which is mounted on the roof of the lid of the trailer. If you lift the lid up, like so, I'll show you the inside. It's not very technical. We just use a stick of wood for the moment just to hold it open. And this in theory should be able to carry everything that we need before we go away. If I take it to the front, that's the charge controlled unit there that we use. It's, uh, it's quite a good unit. It gives us um, uh, regulated output power so we can control it to what power we want uh, to come out of it uh, and at what level is going to switch the battery off to uh, save draining it flat. We're facing away from the sun but we're still getting 2 amps to charge with. Battery is showing 11.7 volts um, and the load is 3.6 amps. The load's on because we've got this core box which is connected. We've got a 12 volt socket there that we use. Um, that's supplying the power to the core box at the moment. And then for inside the tent purposes, we've got an extension lead here, which has got the 12 volt cigar light socket. And then we've got four more outputs there. That unreels nicely from those sockets and goes straight into the tent. We've then also got two 40 volt sockets. We've got the DC to AC inverter here. That gives us up to 600 watts of power at 240 volts. That powers these sockets here. That socket there goes straight to the front sockets for outside use. So again, we've got a 240 volt extension lead here. That plugs into the front and then this uh, adapter socket that goes inside the trailer for all our, our needs. TV aerial just collapses there. And that's basically it. The, uh, the cool box uh, is quite a heavy current uh, drain. It does take quite a bit of current up but if having that switched on for between sort of three or four hours a day means it doesn't really take anything from the battery because the solar panel charges that up anyway and puts in the power that we use for that and it just keeps everything uh, fresh and cool milk and bacon and various bits of meat to stay fresh for a good few days no problems at all so that's uh, that's the setup really um, if you've got any questions you can drop me a line and email me one last thing let me just collapse this down again to face the sun again not very technical but if we lift the panel up like so we have a block of wood there that holds it in place so that faces the sun and that does make uh, a very big difference to the power that we generate um, whilst we're travelling, obviously it's always connected to the, uh, the mains or to the batteries, so it's always charging. But to stop this flapping around, we have a strap that just goes around the top and underneath and uh, fastens that down to stop it waving around. And it does the job very well. It's a good uh, device. We've, uh, we've managed to use this for about a week continuously. Again, with just having the fridge on a few hours a day, which is sufficient enough. And then at night um, we get 240 volts to power up the laptop or the portable TV, charge up our mobile phones and cameras and anything else that we need. So generally it, it does the job really, really well. Uh, effectively during the day it'll put in more into the battery that we actually use. Uh, we get about between 7 and 8 amps from this, power, um, from this solar panel. And like I say for the fridge and the cool box it uses between sort of 3 and 4 amp hours. So uh, you can do the maths on that one.
on cloudy days like we have had uh, for the last couple of days here in, uh, in North Wales. We've struggled a little bit, um, but today doing the job really nicely. As long as you're sensible with it and, uh, and don't have things switched on too much, uh, then you're okay. Lighting at night, no problems at all. We've got loads of lights to plug into cigar light sockets and give us all the lighting that we need. So it's really good. Okay, any questions, you can uh, drop me an email. Thanks for watching.